Hello, thanks for joining us today. In this video, we are going to look at the new improvements that we've made to our framing tools within our 2022 version of Vertex BD. Let's have a look at some of these in the following example. Firstly, let's activate our insulation library. This, you can see, has width and length parameters. Select the floor panel and deselect other layers, leaving just a framing layer. We are going to add insulation to the framing layer. To add insulation to the structure, we select insulation and we input end and seam gap values. The edge gap is 10 millimeters and the seam gap is 50 millimeters. You can change the gaps by adding the insulation again with new gap values. Now our seam gap is 50 millimeters. You can use this functionality also for wall panels. Select framing, add insulation the same way as we did previously with different gap values as required. Secondly, we can look at the new rules for common sheathing methods. In this floor panel, we have two blocking lines within the framing. As the width of the block studs is 25 millimeters, let's change the minimum overlap with the piece to 10 millimeters. We then generate the sheets again, and now, as you can see, the change has been made. Let's change the width of the last sheet. This must be at least 900 millimeters. Once we have changed the width, we run generate parts. On the other side of this panel, we have a small sheet, something we would like to avoid. So let's check the dimensions. As you can see, it's 22.5 millimeters. Now that's checked, let's edit the minimum width of the sheet setting and generate parts again. This will remove the small section of sheet from the layout. Now looking at the third. We have two new macros on our floor. Let's go to the browser first and edit the defaults for hatches to 400 millimeters. Once this is done, we add the hatch to the panel, and we also add a shaft to the panel, so we can see the difference between the two macros. Once we've completed that, we run generate parts again, now as you see, there is a piece of sheathing and the studs are generated around it. As well as this, you can see how it's also generated the shaft. If you want to change the dimensions of a macro, just double click the macro you need to amend, change the values and run generate parts again to the panel. Stay tuned and check out our other videos for our other great improvements and features for our 2022 version of Vertex BD.